Welcome to the historical town of the Lilliputs. I introduce, here is Ibrahim, 13 years old, and he will be showing us the town. And on the left is his assistant. Today we are walking in the old town section of the village, where all houses are made of mud. As we walk around, please pay attention to the height of the houses and the doors. I actually had to try one for myself, and this one had a larger entrance compared to some other ones we encountered. She is five foot four, and I and 511. When I was a kid, I watched a cartoon series named Gulliver's Travels. In the cartoon, there were tiny little people called the Lilliputians. Before the 1980s, the village of Mahonik received the nickname the town of the Lilliputs. This kid is seven years old and a little too small for his age. This lady is four feet one, and the man we saw earlier was four feet three inches tall. Before the 1970s, no one in this village was over four six. So, were the genes the only underlying cause of the height deficiency? Because the kids, they have normal heights. The kids offered us an alternative explanation. <laughs> Nutrition deficiency. That's exactly what I was waiting to hear. Ibrahim took us to the farms of the village. By looking around, you can see that there are very little arable lands. This place is surrounded by mountains mostly. But somehow they have managed to divide these lands among themselves. In an awkward fashion, I might add. Grain and barley constituted the foundation of the diet, and the residents relied on vegetarian dishes because raising animals was extremely difficult in this cold and dry environment. So malnutrition did contribute to the height deficiency. Now these are the roads that we drove through to get to the village, and they were in a pretty good condition. It was asphalt all the way to the entrance of the village. But before the 1960s, you could hardly ride a horse out of this place. Construction of roads after the 1960s allowed the residents access to other essential ingredients, 
For example, rice and chicken were being transported from other cities and towns to here. ببین اینا رو یاد گرفتی به دیگران گفتن اونتا اصلا مهم نیست اونا چی میگن مهم اینه که تو خوب زندگی کنی هر کاری دلت میخواد بکنی خب پول که داشته باشی هر کاری دلت بخواد میتونی بکنی In 1944 the Nazis were starving many ethnicities to death now the descendants of those who went through the famine had a higher incidence of heart disease, diabetes, obesity and so on. The phenomenon I'm talking about here is called epigenetics. This is what we believe may have happened in the village. <laughs> Okay, that's a trend on the Can you? 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 Can you?